Alright guys, so um, the moment of truth is here. We're going to try to install this RAM into my new MacBook Pro. So let me go ahead and take these screws. As you can see, there's only two right over here, but in total, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we have to remove all of them. And once we take them out, we'll have uh, access to the guts. And for what I uh, read and see, it's actually a pretty easy install. Um, let me go ahead and take this out. I'm not going to make you see that. I'm just taking basic uh, screws out. Alright guys, I just took all the screws out and I was wrong about the sizes. So the three big ones are going to be the ones in the battery side. This one, this one, and this one right over here. All the other ones are the really, really, really small ones. I'm sorry. Really small ones. And let me show you the size of the bigger ones. All these three uh, are the very same size. Removing the uh, the screws, of course, guys, it's something really simple. Just be sure you have one of these computer fixing kits. It, uh, it's about two dollars in any of your local retail stores, and it does it does makes everything easier. Now that we have every single uh, screw out, we're gonna remove the top. Um, there's a little more access from the back to the front, and voila, we have. Um, the MacBook Pro with 4 gigs of RAM over here just to show you I um, never took this out and I only had the computer for a couple of weeks and you can see how my city gets dust like crazy look at this let's go ahead and remove the original RAM that we have over here now that the computer, the, I'm sorry, that the RAM and the internals are exposed just be sure to discharge yourself to touch any of the metal parts just to get um, get any st static in out so pretty much what we're going to be doing is we're going to push the levels on the on the I'm sorry the levelers the levers on the side of the memory and then out to outside and then memory should pop up at an angle is pretty pretty easy but let's see if it's as easy as it says it indeed was so now you have access. Do not touch the middle of the part. Try to try to go from the sides. Now um, that's one of the sticks out. So that's the original four gig. I'm sorry, two gig. And then we have another one. Now I don't know how I'm gonna take this one out. Let me see if it's the same procedure. Yeah. So you're gonna go a little deeper, and you're gonna see the tabs as well. Just be sure to um, pop them out, and then the ramp will come up. Um, let's see, maybe I have to do it a little more. Yes. So, now that I did it more, as you can see, the RAM is completely uh, in an angle and you can just pull it out. So, now we're changing that, that we have that out. We're going to um, start putting the, the new RAM in. The new RAM comes in this package. Let's go ahead and remove one of the sticks. Mm. A little stiff. Okay, there you go. All right, so I'm gonna proceed to insert it the same way that um, the original came in. So this way. So let's go ahead and insert this. Uh, first, you're gonna insert the bottom one, and you're going to be pushing in and it should be in right over there. Be careful when you uh, remove the RAM from its uh, package. It can be uh, not tricky but it's really in there. So just be sure that the RAM is all the way in in the angle and then you go in. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the tray back in and, um, and start, up, start it up. Okay. Put in right now, guys. I can tell you um, when you put the screws back in, don't tight all of them before you have at least all of them in. What I'm trying to say is, time a little bit each one of them and then go back and try to do the start. I don't know if you're familiar with cars, but 
you really don't want to put too much tension in one side. Computer loaded up pretty quick. Um, as you can see, it's giving me a message that uh, it's my, my password, I changed it. Booting time is a little faster than definitely before when I had the 4 gigs. Um, right over here, let's take a look at the information uh, about this Mac. It is reading it right over there. 8 gigs at 13333 megahertz DDR3. Let's go for more info. It's showing over here as well 8 gigs. And if you are doubtful, still it's showing the 2 4 gig stick. Now, this means that the installation went smooth, that we got it to go, and that it's working perfectly as I expected it. Now, um, I work with a laptop with a with a MacBook Pro 13 uh, with 8 gigs, and it's 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 a it has a difference, especially for the kind of work that I do. So I hope that um, helped you guys installing the um, the memory, and and I hope that um, you guys stick around for some more videos and other reviews. Take care.